Well, hello and welcome back to the Enlarged Cotter Dam. Richard Snashall here and it's 2012 and the dam wall is rising, there's no doubt about that. I shot this material just as an afternoon and evening shift was getting going. As you can see, there's a myriad of activity on the wall. Lots of people doing lots of different things. There's the intake tower looking very majestic. Looking a little bit like Centrepoint Tower in Sydney, but soon the wall will come up and uh, meet the height there of the intake tower. There is the old wall, which is sadly no longer visible from the viewing platform, and of course will one day be inundated by the new Cotter Reservoir. Okay, so we'll go up to the batch plant now where the concrete is being made and we'll just go through the process of uh, batching the concrete and taking it down to site. So both batch plants were working when I was filming and it is all controlled from this control room here. Many, many screens controlling the many fine parts of the roller compacted concrete making process. And of course aggregates are required to make concrete and we have three different sizes of stone here that are being dropped into these hoppers and they are then dropped down onto a conveyor and they go into the mix of roller compacted concrete to ensure the right specifications. Now this is an interesting building here, this is the ice plant and it forms a very important role in creating the right temperature concrete. There are these two large, well insulated chambers where the ice is contained. The ice is basically in small drink sized pieces and it's dropped down there, when it's made up, dropped down there into these chambers and it's fed into the concrete mix. Gary Mabry there holding the pieces of ice, being a very good hand model. Well, the ice plant is just basically here for the summer time to keep the temperature down. We've got a maximum of 21 degrees on the basement temperature to uh, minimise cracking and shrinkage of the concrete. So we adjust the ice to temperature. We're usually getting about one degree per 10 kilos of ice added to the mix. We will look at the concrete as it leaves the batch plant. Both the batch plants, I should say, there are two. As you can see, both operating there and the concrete is fed out onto this conveyor system which takes it all the way down to the new wall. Quite a distance actually, probably travels at least I would say 600 metres and it's all monitored of course from the control room as you can see there's a series of cameras there that ensure that everything is flowing smoothly. And this roller compacted concrete is a drier mix than the usual concrete and is very good for building dams. As the enlarged cotter dam wall rises, the conveyors are dismantled, working their way up as the, um, as the wall rises up to its, its optimum height. I'm following Gary Mabry down the stairs. It's quite a walk and coming back up is, is really the uh, what tests you. There's the final conveyor and the concrete goes into the hopper at the end of that conveyor and then drops down into the moxie trucks which are on top of the wall. There's two moxie trucks there and the concrete of course is placed on the wall. There's an empty truck moving into position there to receive the next batch that comes down. And the concrete is then of course laid out on site, laid out on top of the wall. Yeah, well each day there's three to four hours spent cleaning the conveyors, the transfer points are clean so we don't have any build up of concrete causing spillage or overflows. This gives you an idea of the fine detail of this project. Working with a dustpan and brush these guys are making sure that the abutment walls are absolutely brushed clean so they can receive the concrete and get a good fix. This is looking at the rear of the new Cotter Dam wall which of course is a view the public doesn't get to see and you can see all the formwork there at the top and the wall as it comes up so far and there's even a little bit of water being held back there from some of the recent rainfall. Anyway we look forward to seeing you next time with another update from the Enlarged Cotter Dam.